Dream Machine by Luma Labs is an absolute killer when it comes to AI video generation. I mean, take a look at this video. All it requires to generate this video, this, this five second clip is a gentleman leans on a retro futuristic car under a street light with zooming out, revealing a classic design elements in a timeless nostalgic style. That's all it requires. You don't need to do some crazy prompt engineering. You don't need a photographer. You don't need a videographer. You don't have to go to a site. All you have to do is give a prompt. It can also do character consistency. This has been the one of the biggest asks when it comes to image generation. And now that is available for even video generation. I'm going to break down this very newly fresh hot launch a dream machine Luma Labs and also the various features that they've got. I mean, it's it's so cool that you can do all these things from your computer. You don't even have to be like a cameraman or a video editor. So I mean, it's it's like magic within your hands. And let's get started. First thing that you have to do is you have to go to Dream Machine Luma Labs and get signed up. I'll link it in the YouTube description for you to play with. So the first thing, if you go and uh, look for a Dream Labs, Dream Machine Luma Labs, let me go open it for you. You get to this particular page. I've already created one for you, uh, comparing it with Mini Max or Halo, which I personally consider to be the best AI video generation. And this is exactly where I would like to draw a little distinction. I still think what Halo or Mini Max creates the best. So for example, this is a video that says a, Neo, a European man and a Japanese woman uh, look up in a fear distant screams with a burning exploding city in the background, dark clouds covering the sky. So this is what it looks like for this particular prompt using Mini Max. As you can see here, there's a, there's a blast. I don't see dark clouds, Japanese woman, European man and all those things. Now, when I try to recreate the same thing with Luma Labs Dream Mission, this is what I got. I mean, there are multiple options. I, I can show you the um, the path in which I went there. So this is the end result. What you're seeing is the end result. So this is one option. This is second option. See, honestly, now if you ask me at this particular point, I might prefer the Halo one. But honestly speaking, this is a good video. It's 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 almost like you know you're watching an apocalyptic movie clip. And the way I reached here is that, so I can go to my board and show you this. So I first create an image. So I give the prompt and the prompt creates four images for me. One, two, three, four. Of course, this looks like, you know, some YouTube thumbnail or something. And whatever image that you like, you can click that image and then you are given with a bunch of options. One, you can modify the image in itself. Second, you can make a video out of it. Third, you can use it as a reference and four, you can create more like this. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to make a video out of this. So we're basically taking this image, trying to make a video out of this reference image. In this particular case, I use this image and try to create a video out of it. And the end result is what you saw. When you create a video, you get two options. Now let's try to do something from scratch, like completely from scratch. I'm going to go click the new board here and you get three options, make visuals of make a video of and create something. So I'm going to click make a video of as first option, or you can go make a visual and then make a video out of it up to you, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to just go ahead and then give a very simple prompt, nothing very fancy, very simple. So make visuals of um, Superman in the darkest city of Gotham in the middle of night and um, riding on a bad mobile and you you might guess at this point where i'm going the idea here is that can it create what we want first of all then we'll convert into video another thing is you have to understand that these models i don't know like what kind of data sets that they have uh, used it's not always you get like you know you hired real actors in hollywood and then you're trying to make a video there is a bit of this um uh, this, you know, syntheticness that you would miss, is, is, is it a word syntheticness? Um, you would see that. So now we have got four options and you can see make visuals of Superman instead of Superman. We have got Batman, the flash, Wonder Woman, Aquaman in the darkest city. So you've got neolit, futuristic, cyberpunk fantasy. So I've got these, this is Superman, Superman, this is Batman. This is nice, but I wanted to see if I say neon lit. How would it look? Uh, I would have uh, preferred to see cyberpunk to have like a 
Blade Runner type style, but let's go with neon lit. So it takes the prompt that you give and it's it's literally one of their pitches. They say no prompt engineering needed, just ask. Be as simple or as specific. Talk in your own way to generate edit. Move through your exploration fluently. You can just simply go and say, can I have the view for the kitchen? And then it gives you a bunch of other options for you to reference and remix, which which probably will do at this point. So you've got a bunch of options. Okay, it has a very synth wave-ish theme and it's got a nice cartoonish theme. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick this one or maybe I should go with this one. Yeah, I think this is better. Let me go with this. I'm going to say make a video. Now, when I say make a video, you have three options here. One is a keyframe. The second one is modify. The third one is reference. A reference is where you want to use a style or you want to use a character or something like that. Keyframe is obviously if you have done any video editing software, you know, like you can set um, like while something is happening, you can set a keyframe from that something gets changed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add two frames, like one is a start frame and I'm going to add an end frame. In the end frame that I'm going to add, I'm going to add um, something from my local computer. Let me quickly see if I've got anything. So I've uh, got, yeah, let's say I've got this um, Sam Altman, this not, not very ideal, but I want to see what happens. I've got this uh, bike, uh, sorry, Batmobile and I've added it and I've not given any prompt. So this is basically two frames I've given here, the start frame and kind of the end frame. And I'm expecting Luma Labs Dream Machine to design it or design the video for me. And also in one of my recent videos, I had said that um, the new model LTXV, I guess LTXV or LXTV, the model was like the fastest one. But I honestly was surprised to see that it's not just the, you know, the model is like a demo, but you can actually play with this model and the model is really good in terms of the speed in which it generates and it gives you the flexibility. So yeah, kudos to the team for a pull, pulling off something like this. Uh, I mean, it's it's not very easy to produce something like this. Okay, we have the four second video. Let's see, I've got this. <laughs> wow. That That's pretty creative. Okay, let's see this, what is happening? It's a bad mobile. Wow. Like they're literally sitting inside the Batmobile. Ooh, that's cool. That is very cool. Um, now it says I can extend the video. I can add uh, one more end frame, which uh, obviously I'm going to add the same end frame that uh, I've got. Um, maybe I can add a cat from Matrix, okay? So I've got the same video. Now I've added an end frame and I'm not going to describe anything. Maybe I can just say, um, a drone shot of faster zoom out. Okay, that's sorry. There is a cat. Faster zoom out. Okay, they have they have an option for camera pullout. So let's see. So I've said a drone shot shoot. Oh my goodness, a drone shot supposed to be shot of faster zoom pullout. So I've given the existing video, which itself is generated by Dream Lab, Dream Machine. I get confused between Dream Labs and Dream Machine. Dream Machine, which was created based on two frames. I've added one more frame and then I've given a prompt, but this prompt, instead of like having it something very weird, I'm trying to have a camera control there. So a drone shoot of faster camera pullout. So I've got a bunch of options, slow pan, dynamic dolly, rapid flyover, quick tilt, and there is drone where I can do steady cam, handheld crane, helicopter. What I understand is when the team actually designed this, I guess this is how they label the data set. So let's go look at it. Um, we have now an eight second clip. So there is this um, thing, our Sam and team are sitting and then finally they became, wow, they, they became the cat. This is pretty interesting. Let me look at the second one. So I've got, uh, I've got this, which is exactly what we said. And I think there is like, there is a cat. Amazing. I mean, I know you might be thinking like who the heck gave this guy access to this given the fact that he has zero creativity, but it's it's kind of a fun material. So now you get the point of how you can generate an image, add a keyframe, create something. Now what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to create a new board, but this time what we're going to do now is we're going to create a character consistency. Okay. So I'm going to create an image. Um, okay. First, 
I've got to upload an image. Okay, I've got to upload an image. And to upload an image, I've uh, I've got someone, maybe this girl I generated um, as part of uh, my flux exploration. And I'm going to call this instead of keyframe as a reference. And I'm going to say, can you make, sorry, make a video of her dancing in, in the snow, um, dancing in the snow while there are cherry blossoms in the background background of character character so you can say what do you want to reference the style or the character i'm going ahead with character i could have probably given tron and then done this um i love the tron neon lighting there but um, let's go ahead with this make a video for character dancing in the snow uh, while there there are cherry blossoms in the background with a uh, with the camera um, zooming out i don't know why i'm obsessed with zooming out okay i've sent this make a video for character dancing in snow so we're going to see how close uh, the lady's face in this particular case the girl's or lady's face is to the character that it creates my guess is that the samples that i've seen is that it is not exactly same it tries to retain some uh, consistency to the character that you have given. I think the day we have exactly the same. Uh, I'm not sure how many um, Hollywood actors are going to um, license their faces, but um, you can see. But for now, we have got um, we have got a girl. Uh, th does the girl look almost like that? So that's that's questionable. Um, so I'm going to open the girl. I'm going to open the girl. Quick look. So you can see this is the girl. Okay, and. Uh, if this is the girl there and uh, what we have is this girl kind of similar to be honest not bad so she has a um, yeah in this she looks like she has got like some hand fracture and she's like Frankenstein this is much better to be honest this is also kind of weird um, yeah I guess I will go with this girl I would have gone with this girl had she had like better hands but this is very Frankensteinish. I like the background here, the cherry blossom here. So maybe I can go with this. Yeah, but the, the girl's face has a natural tone here. So I'm going to click this and then say make a video. And I'm not going to add any in frame in this particular case. I'm just going to just just do it. I've added the video, uh, the image and then I'm asking it to create a video. So this way you can keep this girl's image as a reference and all the time and uh, it can generate and i guess like when you give an input image and use it as a reference i guess it is doing some kind of denoising there um, i'm not sure if it is transformers if it is diffusion or if it is dit diffusion transformer which is like the hottest right now but there is some kind of part of denoising happening there for them to replicate the image or maybe diffusion transformer and trying to create one that's why like the girl that we gave as an input has slight difference from the girl that it has generated and uh, it can only get better. So we have got this girl dancing. What? I think she had a surgery on her back. That's pretty weird. I hope YouTube doesn't block me for this. Okay. And this again, the face changes, but the dress is at least better. So if you see the dress is much better in this than that. Um, yeah, this is like she's got three hands three body problem this is a three body problem but again this is a very naive prompt like i'm not a video editor i'm not like a very creative guy my prompts are like complete crap at this point but i'm trying to show you the purpose the purpose is you don't have to do prompt engineering and with one interface like the board you can do a bunch of things you can share the board with like a bunch of humans and they can what they can do is they can click here and then extend the video modify the video remix they can do a bunch of things and you can do styles you can do character consistency a lot of the other things over the coming days i'm planning to play more uh, planning to play more with dream machine luma labs but at this point i would love to hear from you what do you think is the best ai video generation and where would you rate luma labs dream machine i hope i said the name correctly multiple times across um, during the course of this video i don't know um, what do you think the snow is pretty good the cherry blossom is good I think they might have some problem with human faces, I guess, like because it keeps on changing. 
So maybe I should make more cats and then see how it goes. I love the keyframe. Let me know what you think about this video. See you in another video. Happy prompting.